Dr. Cody wasted no time and handed me a brain monitoring headband and a red light device. What do I do with that? So we're actually going to stick this up your nose. Dude. <laughs> because the bone behind your nose is very thin, meaning the red light can get to your brain okay. most effectively. So this will shoot red light. In oh. literally into your, the front part of your brain. We already have the front part of your brain being stimulated by the alpha stimulation of the red light therapy. Okay, so this is pulsing red light already. So we have to be open to the neuromodulation is what it's called. So we'll start with closing our eyes and just feeling the ground beneath our feet. What I want you to practice is to be on the knife edge of time. And I want you to feel a sense of joy and astonishment at the present moment. You are riding this wave in and out with your breath. So if you can try to stay in that vibe, the red light will continue to do its thing. Why not just sit and meditate? I remember back when I was in residency training for psychiatry, I actually am a psychiatrist by training. They would try to teach people mindfulness because as you can imagine, it's really good for your mental health, but people would never continue the practice to really have that as a lifestyle change that would benefit them. I've found that if you can in introduce things like gamifying it through brainwave tracking, there's more motivation behind it when you see the improvement.